some two-bit merc like you has what it takes to kill me. Son, you're the one who will take over the family, so save yourself. nice being able to pour tea for someone else like this. Oh, my apologies. I'm supposed to be the host, and yet here I am thinking about myself. How about you, then? Are you having a good time? Huh, that's good to hear. Chamomile is known for its relaxing properties, so maybe that's taking its effect on you. I was actually a bit worried that I might be putting you off. Apparently, the popular opinion is that I'm difficult to approach. Hmm? We're running low on snacks. I'll have to ask my staff to actually... Oh, never mind. Here, let me pour you another cup. All right, I think that's enough for now. We should start cleaning up. I'd like to invite you for this again, if time allows. But for now, let's head back to our rooms. Episode. I wonder how it's going to end. You know, about this series, I mentioned before how it caught my attention, but I was afraid it might be too scary for me. But I'm glad I watched it. Guess it's important to break out of your comfort zone sometimes. Do you ever try watching things from genres you don't normally get into? Oh, wow. <laughs> I could learn a thing or two from you. Trying out all kinds of shows seems like a good way to find hidden gems. Watching this together made me realize how much I appreciated the main character. Like how she can't turn a blind eye to people in need and extends her hand to almost anyone. And of course the way she kept pressing forward no matter what happened. It was so inspiring. Come to think of it, isn't she just like you? <laughs> that might be a stretch. Remember how I told you about that girl I was close to who started ignoring me one day? It's not like I did anything to make her hate me. We've been friends for a long time, but one day out of the blue, she just said, my mother told me I can't play with you anymore. It's because there were rumors flowing around about my parents. I kind of get it now, looking back, but at 
at the time, I was just... sad. <sighs> what I'm trying to say is, this show made me realize I'd like to be a little more like the main character. I want to be the kind of person who'd help anyone at any time. Someone who's kind and strong. It might be silly to say I look up to a fictional character, but there's no harm in following her example. At least, that's what I think. Oh! The last episode's starting! That ending was so good! I hope they'll make a sequel. I'll bring more DVDs I'm curious about next time. Oh, it's about time we head back to our rooms. Have a good night, okay? Good news. I guess it's coming back today. Mitsuru Senpai said her injuries are all healed up. We're meeting in the lounge tonight. Don't forget, okay? See ya. returned everyone sorry to have worried you all man it's good to see you it's been a whole month you know i was getting nervous me too i was afraid i wouldn't see you again i'm just a machine i can always be rebuilt even if i'm completely destroyed my programming data would still exist come on don't talk about yourself like that I was told she'd need another week for a complete recovery, but I had the work expedited. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused. Mitsuru-san visited me while I was at the lab. I heard what happened. You've all been through so much. Have you been well? Well, given the circumstances, I'd assume not. Ten years ago, I... What I did to you was... <sighs> but if I hadn't done what I did to you, you wouldn't be suffering like this. As for what Ryoji-kun said, have you already made your decision? I have a favor to ask, tomorrow. When Ryoji-kun comes back... Please, kill him! I can't bear to see you all suffer like this! If you're in this much pain, I beg you, choose to surrender your memories! Even if... Even if...
if it means forgetting everything and everyone. I guess what are you talking about? Yeah, seriously. This is not like you. <sighs> what is it, I guess? Why? Why did I come back here? My duty is to protect people from shadows. But now, it's clear that I can't defeat them. What am I even doing here? No matter how hard I try, I can't even shed a tear for you. I guess. Why do you try to fight when you know it's hopeless? Why risk everything when it will only lead to suffering? You're all just throwing away your lives! I don't understand. We're not throwing away our lives. In fact, our eyes are set on the future. Isn't that right? Right. I don't understand. Perhaps it's because I lack a life of my own. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with having a life. I'm a machine created to protect humans from shadows, but I can't carry out that duty with the power I have. So what is my purpose now? I just... don't know. And no one can give me an answer. Well, yeah. You don't have the answers. The meaning of life or death isn't something someone else can just teach you. Making your own decisions is hard, no matter who you are. No choice is perfect, you know? But as long as we're alive, we gotta do something. When you see someone going through the same thing you're going through, you just wanna help them. That's how we plan on getting through this. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't the best explanation, but that's the idea. That's... the idea? When I saw you collapse, I realized something. I want to protect you, I guess. I don't want to forget about you. Fuka-san. There are times when you'll lose sight of your purpose and you'll have to search for it. But if you can't find it again, then what you need is to seek out a new purpose. I'm not really one to talk, but I feel like I've learned something important this year. To truly live is to be willing to change. And we have to make those choices for ourselves. Do you think I'll be able to change too? You have changed so much. Haven't you noticed? You've even started speaking like a real human. I understand what my purpose is now. I'm a machine with the directive to live. And the one issuing this new command is me. I'll stare fear in the face and choose to live. This is the promise I've made to myself. I'm not sure how I'll do it, but perhaps that's a part of living too. Yeah, it sure is. Will you allow me to join you in this fight? You kidding? Of course! You've always been one of us. Thank you. From now on, I stand with all of you, no matter what happens.
Hey, it's been a while. Midnight's just around the corner. When it hits, I'll lose this form. And I won't be me anymore. So, have you made a decision? Then, I'll be waiting in his room until midnight. Come see me when you have your answer. Ryoji-kun. Oh, and one more thing. Don't let the fact that you have to kill me influence your decision. Like I said, I'm gonna disappear either way. I don't have any hang-ups about dying, so you don't need to worry about me. <laughs> All right. I'll be waiting. Have you made your decision? I see. Have the rest of you decided? No need to ask me. You know how I feel. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't on board. I'm with the rest of you. I'm on board too. I've made my decision as well. Sounds like we're all on the same page. Better let him know then, okay? Hey, it's been a long time since we talked like this in your room. Though, back then, I had a different form and a different name. It seems like you all decided to let me live. You're all going to risk your lives on a battle you can't win. But they're not the ones here right now. You are. I'll say this one more time. If you kill me, Tartarus, the Dark Hour, and the memories of your battles will all disappear. Tomorrow, you'll wake up as a normal high school student. You'll be able to live in peace until the moment of the fall. But if you let me live, you'll spend every waking moment until that day dreading your inevitable death. Nyx can't be defeated. It's pointless to fight her. Are you still thinking, or have you already made up your mind? I wasn't able to change your mind. There's still some time until midnight. I didn't want to have to show you this, but I have no choice. Do you see? I am not human. I will bring death to this world until I am finally satiated. There is no need to hesitate over killing me. Now, consider this very carefully. Is confronting Nyx really what everyone wants? Some things in this world cannot be changed. That's something you can't comprehend. Memories are not set in stone. Old ones can be replaced with new ones. Creating a new reality. Don't you think you should put a stop to everyone's pain and suffering? It's up to you. Only you can make this decision. Now, this is your last chance. Tell me your answer. Please kill me. More than anything, I don't want to see you suffer. After all, you're someone very special to me. I understand. As sad as I am to hear it, it's your life. You're free to do what you want with it. I'll respect your decision. Let's get back to the others. I need to tell you guys how to confront Nyx. <sighs> Somehow, I knew that's what you'd choose. I know you better than anyone, after all. 
I have this feeling like I always wanted to see you again. That's why I came back to you as Ryoji Mochizuki. Maybe there really is some power out there that can do the impossible. And if there is, I know you all have it. Oh, right. Here. I want you to have this. I know this isn't exactly the best timing, but I never thought I'd feel this way. Whenever you play this music box, I hope that you remember me. Come on, let's go. Everyone's waiting. Yo, what's up, Ryoji? <sighs> it's a painful decision, but it's yours to make. That's right. But it's impossible to defeat Nyx. We'll go as far as we can. We have to try. <laughs> You're the only one saying it's impossible. Personally, I don't care if it is. All right, then. It's almost midnight, so I'll make this short. I should tell you where to find Nyx. She's at the very top of Tartarus. On the promised day, you have to make your way to the top of the tower. On the promised day? It's exactly one month from tomorrow, January 31st, 2010. On that day, Nyx will descend to Tartarus, and that's when the world will end. One month? Tartarus is a gigantic rift in the night sky. It acts as a beacon to guide Nyx. With the Apprisor's arrival, Nyx learns that the way has been prepared, and she begins her descent. And with her, she brings the Demise. That explains why it's called the Tower of Demise. So what you're saying is, we can fight Nyx if we reach the top? That's right, but remember, after today, You'll be fighting against eternal despair. I've said it before, but Nyx can't be defeated. When you come face to face with her, you'll finally understand why. And then, you'll realize exactly what you're trying to stand against. We understand. You don't need to keep telling us. One month from now, January 31st. We won't forget. Well, I'll be going then. I want to leave you while I'm still in this form. I guess I'm sorry for all the pain and suffering I put you through. I won't forget that you were my enemy and my friend. I guess. Thank you. This is probably the last time we'll get to see each other like this, but I'll always be watching over you. Well, so long then. Best wishes in the coming year. That's what you say on New Year's Eve, right? See ya. <laughs> that punk. We have one month until January 31st. We'll get through this together. I am 
and thou, thou art I, thou hast established a new bond. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest to create the persona of the judgment art. 